What's up guys? Pops K with another pop video. And today I am doing a request video. Uh, we did do the video on shipping pops, just regular pops such as, you know, regular small 3.75 inch, 4 inch pop. And uh, someone did request for me to do a 10 inch pop and tonight I was doing some shipping. And I did sell this one right here, the Dino Ultra Zor, which you've probably seen in my past video. Now it is going away. So this big boy right here is going to be shipping. Uh, let's see, the guy's name is Richard. Yep, he's going to be getting this pop. And I decided, you know what? Someone did request me to do it. I got to ship it. Let's make a little tutorial. I am doing this pretty much live. There's going to be no editing, so you're going to see exactly how I would have done it. And uh, so let's get started. So the main things you're going to need that I would I use tape dispenser, tape gun, you're going to get yourself some bubble wrap. Now the bubble wrap I get from eBay, usually you get them in, you know, a six pack, a 10 pack, a 12 pack, you know, the more packs you buy or more rolls you buy, the cheaper it is. This costs roughly eight to $10 a roll on eBay shipped to you. And then over here, I got some, uh, some paper, just regular packing paper. You can buy that on Amazon or eBay. It's really cheap, usually between five to 10 cents. It comes out to a sheet, or it can be even cheaper depending on how much you buy. So not too crazy on the packing, but you know you want to you want to pack this well so that the customer gets it. And because it's so big, it's a lot more fragile. I would say actually. Um, now the box is hard. I will admit it's hard to get a, a certain size box unless I go buy a specific one. We do reuse boxes and I am going to be reusing a Huggy or this is a Pampers pull-ups box. So let's get started. So first thing I'm going to do is we're going to do some bubble wrap. So the nice thing about these rolls, if we get them on eBay, you'll see. I don't think the camera's going to pick it up, but there is perforations um, right here. So you'll see, I'll be able to just pull this off and it'll just tear. So what we're going to do for the bigger pops, what I like to do is tear four sheets and then three sheets. So we're going to do four sheets going this way and, three, and a three sheeter going this way. So we're going to... Go ahead and pull this up. So we got one, two, three, four. All right. Now, the way I like to package them, is everyone has their own opinion. I package them with the bubbles facing the pop. I feel that is, you know, it has that extra cushion rather than if it's outside. There's still the areas that it can come through to push down on. You put it this way, it's like a. a you know, a barrier. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna put this flat right here. I'm gonna lay it down on its back like this. All right. Fold that flap over. You know, what? I'm gonna put this camera down a little bit so you guys can see this a little better. And that is my mic on the table, guys, just in case you were wondering. Okay, so now bring this side up. Get a piece of tape. And since it's a big one, I'm going to do another piece of tape. All right. Now, let me put this back up just a little bit. Now we're going to go ahead. I did pre-do a uh, a three sheet like I said so now we're going to take this one we're going to put it the long ways going like this okay bubbles down flip this guy over and it's all about protecting it guys so you know putting several layers of protection around these things is crucial because like I said in the previous video like I said I don't want to get into the customer damage at all I want them to get it the way they they saw pictured and when I take my pictures and I put it online on a listing primarily Mercari 
I put every side. Side, side, back, front, top, bottom. Just so everyone can see, you know, be fully transparent. It's not, you know, it's frowned upon if you're not fully transparent. And then you'll start getting bad reviews. And, you know, people just won't buy from you. So, you know, you don't want to um, not tell your customer or the person that's buying, you know, oh, there is this huge ding, but I'm not going to take the picture. So hopefully they're just not going to ask or anything, you know. So I am taping now the sides down. I like to make it look nice and cre uh, clean when it gets there. All right, so I'm gonna go on this side now. Coming up. All right. This one involves a lot of tape, guys. I have no preference when it comes to the type of bubbles. Some people ask, oh, do you use the bigger bubbles? Do you use the smaller bubbles? It really doesn't matter. I will admit the smaller bubbles make it easier when you want to ship uh, into a box. Sometimes if you plan in your head you're going to ship something and you have the bigger bubbles, you sometimes don't plan correctly because the bigger bubbles take more space, which is good. So I usually tend to buy the smaller ones, but either or works fine. All right, now I am going to tape in the sides. As you will see here, you get left with these little flaps on all the corners when you do it like this. So each side has it. So I'm just going to go ahead now. I'll show you guys. I'm just going to take it, fold it down. Okay. Put a piece tape in the middle. Okay. That one's done. All right. Fold this side down. All right. Put this guy over. Do this side, and we got this side here. All right, so we got our guy completely bubble wrapped. That looks pretty good, I would say. Um, now is the next step. So now we're gonna take some paper. Now for single pops, like smaller ones, I usually would just do one sheet when I'm doing this step, but because this is a big one. Well, I'll make sure it gets it protected. I'm going to take two sheets for the first round around it. So we're going to go like this. As you saw in my previous video, I'm going to fold it in half a long way. Okay, so now we got a sheet just like that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put that sheet down. I'm going to put him right on top of it like this. This is going to involve several pieces of paper as you're going to see here guys. So we're going to go ahead, bring this up and put a piece of tape. Going to bring this side up, put a piece of tape, pull another two sheets. Same thing guys. Fold in half. Alright, now I'm going to go put it this way. And turn it over. As you see, it's going to start looking like the way I packed the smaller pops. So, I'll go and put it just like this. Alright. Now, bringing it back over this side now. Okay, I'm gonna fold that one, tape it down. Now this side down here, bring it up, fold it over, tape it down. All right, so now we are left with same situation as the bubble wrap. You see all the sides are open. What I'm going to do is take another two sheets. Okay. And I'm going to fold them again the same way. 
Now I'm going to take those sheets. And what we can do here, let's see here. I'm actually going to tear this in half. Like I said, guys, I'm doing this sort of live, so I'm just making my best judgment. Alright, so, first piece, now that's in half, okay, gotta take it, actually let's go ahead and turn this on its top and bottom, alright, now, we'll take that sheet, even it out, I'm gonna fold this side down, and we're gonna tape that side down, let's put another one, Alright, now we're going to do the other side. And we'll clean this up after. Just try to get it to actually get on top of this. So now we're going to do this side. Alright, now I'm going to turn it on to the other side here. And this is the way I would want... You know, if I'm buying a 10-inch pop, which I am actually in the process of buying one right now, a Pikachu, I'm hoping the guy is going to ship it the same way I'm doing it now. But, you know, people have different ways of shipping things, and, you know, I'm not saying this is the best way, but this is the way I found that I get the best reviews. People comment that it's great packing, so I'm going to continue doing it. And, you know, it's, uh, I believe, just a good practice to, you know, ship things the way you want it shipped, so... So I'm just going to do the same thing here. I'm going to pack this one here. And... Alright, so that side's taped down. And we're going to do this side now. So all I'm doing, guys, is I'm just pulling it. Not too tight, because you don't want to damage any of the corners. Folding it down. And... Alright, so now we got this box here. Looks pretty good. Well, we're going to clean it up. So I'm gonna take some pieces of tape now. Let me go take. I'm gonna take a few, just really quick, because I'm gonna have to do a lot of cleanup here on the to make it look presentable. All right. So take the first one right here. I'm gonna just tape this up. Just basically gonna close in all these overhanging gaps, you know. I swear, guys, by the time I finish doing this all the way to Christmas, I probably would have shipped somewhere between 500 to 1,000 pops by then, I'm sure. I should, I'd should probably be the only one wrapping gifts in the family. <laughs> so, let's get that side. Ready. I'm going to do the top first, and then we're going to do the bottom. So, break and fold this down. So, easy way to try to fold. So, you see how it's like up here, coming up here. So, I like to just fold it down. Okay, and now this side I'm going to pinch, wrap it around. Okay, so again, it's like, you see how it's angled, so it's just uh, rounded down. So I'm going to fold down, come around this side, pinch it together, and come down. And we're just going to take a piece of tape, keep it all intact. And there's that. We do the same thing here, guys. Show you here. So I'm gonna fold down, bring this side out a little bit, pull it in. Okay, now we're gonna do the bottom. Let's go and pull a few pieces of tape. Alright, so fold down, fold around. Same thing here. All right. Now I got this side. Once you start doing this, guys, a few times, if you are going to start selling them or you're going to start trading them and you're going to trade them, you know, out of your area, you know, 
I would consider trying to, you know, packaging good because you're trading with someone. If they got a trade that they saw a picture of and by the time they get it, if it got dinged up, who knows what's going to happen. You know, the person's going to be pretty upset. They're going to want you, probably you to pay the shipping back. They're not going to want to trade it out. I mean, who knows what would happen, but, um, you know, just good practice to try to pack things well. No matter what industry you're doing or you're shipping in. So there's that. going to add a few more. I mean, I use a lot of tape, guys, especially when it comes to these 10 inch. I'm just making it look clean. I wouldn't say it's as necessary, but to me, it's just how we like to do it. So, And put one more here. Alright, guys. So, I think that's going to be it. So, we went from just a regular pop into a First protection of several sheets of bubble, as you saw. Then the next being, this is probably, what was it, two, two, about eight sheets of paper. And here's your finished product, guys. So, it's like I'm showing you a pop that we just got, but here's a finished product of a pop that was just packed, ready to go. Okay. So, now going to get my box so here's my easy ups box okay and let's go ahead and I'll pull you this in a little bit all right so you'll see how I can pack this in here pull you down all right, so first thing I'm going to do now is put some paper. Now, when I put the paper, what I like to do is make sure what I'm putting the paper down, I don't see any more of the cardboard on the, uh, from the box on the bottom. Put as much paper needed so that you don't see that. Reason being is this way you know that every inch is covered, so it's not going to fall down into a certain area where, you know, it'll start getting banged up if it did fall or whatever the case is. Alright, so, I'll show you what that looks like, guys. Okay, so you can't really see any of the bottom. It's all pretty packed up. Now, we'll put the pop in. Okay, that one touch I do is I write a little note, which I already pre-did. And I usually put two copies of that. So go ahead and put one right there. And put the other one on the top. One on the side, one on the top. Just basically tell them thank you. Hope all, all goes well. Okay, so I'm just angling it in there a little bit. Okay, that is sticking up a little bit, meaning my packing on the bottom is too tall, so I'm pushing it down a little bit. Okay. So this is, when this goes down, that's good. It means I have room now to um, put more paper, which is what we want. So, now we'll get some more paper. Now I'm just gonna stuff the paper around. I like to make every package we do like a cocoon. So you put whatever you're shipping, you put a layer first, you put what are you shipping in the middle, and a layer all around it. So that's what we're gonna do now. So I'm gonna just throw some sheets all around. I'm not really gonna stuff it down yet. Alright, so now we're going to go and stuff these down. Not too tight, because you don't want to ruin the pop. So 
So, I'm seeing that, as you guys can see, I have room. I still got room. See all this? There's still room. So we're going to go ahead and still continue with the paper. Getting there, guys. Alright, guys, so this is pretty buried all around. What we're gonna do now, so you can see, we got some good areas, all the corners are good. Now we're gonna create a topper, okay? So now we're gonna take, I'm gonna take about three sheets. See how this works out. I'm gonna fold them to the the length of the box. So let's see what we got here. So I'm just gonna take it, fold it to where it meets the length of the box. So just like that. So let's unfold this now. Then I'm gonna fold it one more time. Coming this way. Okay. So now we'll take it. We got a flat sheet. Tuck in all the all the paper that's already in there. And I'm not pushing down on the pop, guys. I'm pushing down on the edges of the box. So pop is definitely being safe. Alright, so, this has enough uh, paper now so where the edgy, all the edges of the box will definitely be able to push down and make a nice flat surface. It's not going to be able to go down anymore. So I'm going to fold this down this way. Okay. Fold this one this way. Yep. It's nice when you hear, the, hear that. It's hitting the paper right away. This way you know it's nice and tight. Okay, so we got that side. So, now that we got that. We're going to tape our tape gun. So I'll fix this. That's done. Last part. Since it's normally on a single box, I would do one fragile sticker. But on this one, being a big box, and we know this is an expensive pop, we don't want it to get damaged. I am gonna take four decals. Okay. So we're gonna put one on each side, and I'm gonna put it on the top. And the reason I put it on the top is because whichever company I'm gonna ship with, the way I look at it is I'll put you up here so the way I look at it is whichever one I'm going to ship with I'm putting it on the top I'm going to put my label on the top so the driver the robots this, uh, the people packing the trucks they all have to scan that label that you know all of us are going to print out so it can leave that we pay for so where are they, they're going to scan it the first thing you want to see is fragile all, all over. Oh, let me focus you guys back in here. I'm going to take a seat here. So, let me show you real quick and then we'll... We got four fragile stickers. And I'll put my label and we're done. So... But once it gets in their hands, you want to make sure whoever's seeing that package constantly sees fragile, fragile, fragile. Not saying that that means you're a foolproof and they're gonna handle it, you know, like this everywhere it goes. It's definitely gonna get thrown. You can't stop that from all these carriers. Uh, I'm sure you've seen horror videos everywhere. But uh, that pretty much does it, guys. So 
You can check out the previous video for just packing a regular pop such as this to the 10 inch pop like I just did. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you can help us out, go ahead and follow us on Instagram at popscale 4 Subscribe to our channel. Hit the thumbs up if you like this video. We'll be having more content coming up soon. Thanks. Have a good night.